This is the quickest and easiest way for you to create an excellent ebook using artificial intelligence. The first thing you want to do is come over to ChatGPT and tell it to create an outline around the topic that you want to write your ebook about and tell it how many chapters that the ebook is going to be. For instance, I can tell ChatGPT to create a 10 page ebook outline for how to grow a Facebook page. As soon as ChatGPT completes the outline, you want to come back to the top and then you just want to highlight this, come to the very bottom and press shift and then click at the end of the last line that you want to copy and then press command or control C depending on whether you're on Mac or PC open a new tab and open a Google Doc shift command V to paste in your outline so that it does it without the gray background from chat GPT and now this is the most important part go through this outline and make sure that this outline is correct because although the chat bot is very intelligent it's still not the expert in everything like you are so for instance I might go through this outline and then I'm going to see that it doesn't have a chapter about reels and if you're growing a Facebook page then you have to talk about reels to some extent but once I've made sure that the outline is exactly what I want it to be this is what I'm going to do come to the beginning of each chapter outline and then all you want to press is command enter and what that does is create a page break so that now I have each one of these individual chapter ideas on a separate sheet of paper the next thing you want to do is position your cursor beneath the talking points in the outline that you've settled on for that single chapter and now you want to go to tools and then you want to go to voice typing and now what you want to do is click on voice typing whenever you're ready to start talking about that particular topic and you want to talk about how important it is to grow a Facebook page and how powerful Facebook is as a platform and it's still the predominant place people hang out when it comes to social media having three billion monthly active users and over two billion daily active users and then you can talk about how vibrant Facebook is as a platform and anything else that you want to mention in order to make sure that you're introducing your ebook the correct way or whatever you're supposed to be writing about in this chapter. But once you've actually explained the information in a verbal way and Google Docs has listened to you and it's taken the information down, all you have to do is click the microphone again and it will stop recording. So now it has what I said and I'm just going to come right here and triple click to highlight the paragraph and no matter how long you go with talking I do this for two three pages at a time triple clicking is going to select everything and then I'm going to go command C or control C on PC then when I come back to chat GPT I'm going to tell it to correct the grammar and flow maintain the same terminology and reading level as much as possible and then I'm going to paste my content one very important note is that if you're writing longer chapters that are two to three or maybe even five pages you want to make sure that you're using the advanced data analysis version of chat GPT 4 because it can handle those longer inputs whereas is the standard GPT-4 will tell you that the message is too long. But once you have your prompt set up, then all you want to do is send it over. And now chat GPT will correct the grammar and everything that you said. And it will also make sure that the sentences are cohesive and coherent. Now, all you have to do is come here and copy this, come back to your Google doc, and then highlight everything for chapter one and paste in your completed chapter. And this is what you would do for all of the chapters of your ebook. So now let's talk about how to actually design your ebook and you can do that in Google Docs as well so you might not want your ebook to have a plain white background or a plain black background and you want to place an image on it this is what you're going to do come here where it says insert and then you want to come down to watermark and watermark is going to place an image on every single page of your ebook and now you come here and select an image from your computer so I grabbed an image from my ebook and you can see it's kind of faded out right here, but I'm going to show you how to fix all of this really quickly. First thing you want to do is just unclick fade it. And then you want to come here to auto scale and you want to make this 150 because we want it to cover the entire page. The next thing you want to do is come here for more options. And now I can bring the opacity down. I can raise the brightness. Also, if I want, I can recolor the image and add these different filters on it. But once you're done, all you have to do is click in the white space. And now I have a background image on every single page of my ebook. So now let's say you want to put a cover on your ebook. Well, bring your cursor to the very beginning of your document. And again, you want to go to insert image and then upload from computer. I'm going to use the same image again. 
and then you want to click on the image and then you want to go right here to where it says break text and then where it says margin this is very important you want to make sure margin is at zero if you don't set the margin to zero you'll have one hard time trying to get this to fit the single page that you're trying to put it on the next thing you want to do is change move with text to fits position on page and now all you want to do is grab these handles and then drag this image until it covers that first page. And so now I have my ebook cover and I have my watermark on my page where my text is going to be. The next thing you want to do to finally complete your ebook is to come here where it says insert, scroll to the bottom and then tap on table of contents. And there are three different versions of the table of contents you can use, but I like to use the last one that gives you clickable links inside of the ebook. And once you're done typing out your ebook or talking out your ebook and then running it through chat GPT to correct the grammar and the flow and you have everything outlined with your headings this is what the finished product is going to look like you see my title cover there then you see that I have the watermark pages and the ebook flows right here there's my table of contents and these are clickable links you can download it as a PDF and then people can go and actually interact with it and click on the links and for instance let's say you want to add an image in here all you have to do is place your cursor anywhere in the text and just like before click insert choose an image and then you can resize this image right here i have selected move with text i can adjust the margin i like to have a little margin on my images inside of the ebook to break up the monotony of it so it's not boring so hopefully you see how easy it is for you to quickly create a high quality ebook using chat gpt and google docs and if you want to see another video about five ai tools that content creators absolutely need to be using to get more done in less time then you want to make sure that you watch this next video right here